Now in this question, we're given the equation of the curve y equals e to the 2x tan x. And we're asked to show that at the stationary point on this curve, tan x equals negative 1. So, how are we going to do that? Well, at stationary points, dy by dx, that's the gradient, would equal 0. So what I'm going to do is differentiate this equation with respect to x and then put the fact that dy dx equals 0 and solve the resulting equation. So in order to differentiate this though, what we have is a product of two functions of x, e to the 2x multiplied by tan x. And so in order to do this, you've got to remember that if you have y equals uv, then where u and v, by the way, are functions of x, dy by dx always equals u multiplied by dv by dx plus v du dx. This is called the product rule. So, first of all then, if we differentiate this with respect to x, we've got dy by dx equals now if I call u the e to the 2x and v the tan x, I've essentially got u, that's e to the 2x, multiplied by the differential of tan x. And the differential of tan x is sex squared x. You can always find that in your formula book, but try and learn it anyway. Then we have plus, and then we have v, which is the tan x, let's just put that in brackets, multiplied by the differential of e to the 2x. Now you should already know that if you've got y equals a e to the bx, then dy dx always equals a b e to the bx. This is done by the chain rule. But it is a result that you should already know. So if you're differentiating e to the 2x, there's a 1 here. You're just going to have 2 times the 1. So that's 2e to the 2x. So we'll pop that in there, 2e to the 2x. Now all I need to do is tidy this up. So the first term. I can leave as e to the 2x sec squared x. And for the second term, if I remove the brackets here, I've got to make sure I put this term before the tan x. So we've got plus 2 e to the 2x tan x. Right, now once we've got that, we need to say that at stationary points, we know that dy by dx equals 0. So always an important line to put in. Uh, you should be able to get a mark, I would have thought, off of writing that statement. So therefore, if we have dy dx equals 0, then this will equal 0. So we have e to the 2x sec squared x plus 2e to the 2x tan x, that's going to equal 0. And to solve this, what I need to do is factorize it. And we've got e to the 2x, which is a common factor. So pull it out the front of a bracket, and then we'd have sex squared x plus 2 tan x would equal 0. Now, we've got a product here. We've got e to the 2x multiplied by this bracket equals 0. So either e to the 2x equals 0 or the bracket equals 0. But e to the 2x, if you were to draw the graph of y equals e to the 2x, you should know what that graph looks like. If we just draw the x-axis there and y-axis there, if I was to draw the graph of y equals e to the 2x, it's a graph that would look something like this. Let's just put that in as y equals e to the 2x. It never crosses the x-axis, so therefore e to the 2x can never be 0. 
So that means that this bracket must be equal to zero. So therefore, sec squared x plus 2 tan x must equal zero. Now I've got a trig equation here, and if I'm solving a trig equation, first of all I notice it's in the same angle, x, that's fine, but it's in a different trigonometric functions. I've got sec squared here, sec squared x, and tan x here, so I want to get it into the same trigonometric function. And I know that sec squared x is equivalent to 1 plus tan squared x. So I could write this as 1 plus tan squared x. This is an identity that you should already be familiar with, that 1 plus tan squared x is identical to sec squared x. Then we've got the plus 2 tan x, so pop that in, equals 0. Now what I've got here is a quadratic equation in tan x because tan x is squared. If I'm solving a quadratic equation, I need to rearrange it. Put the squared term at the front, then the 2 tan x, and then the plus 1, and that equals 0. And then I'd want to go on to factorize this. And it does factorize. It factorizes to tan x plus 1 multiplied by another tan x plus 1, and that equals 0. So, if we've got these brackets here, they're both the same, it would mean that one of these brackets, one of these factors in other words, would equal 0. So, if I come just down through here, we could say that therefore tan x plus 1 should equal 0. And that leads to the result that we had to prove that tan x equals minus 1. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this part of the question. I hope you've been able to follow that.